What's going on, y'all? I want to show you how to set up Scalar 2 in Studio One. So Scalar 2 was recently announced. I uh, beta tested it. Uh, I've got a couple of presets built in here for it. And Plugin Boutique is calling it a music theory workstation. Uh, it's really fun, really intuitive for doing chord progression, scales. Uh, you can do arpeggios. It's so much you can do uh, with Scalar 2, and I've really had a lot of fun so far using it. Uh, but to set it up in Studio One, it uh, does require a little bit of work, so we'll go through that. Uh, but first, I just want to quickly go over the three versions of Scalar 2 that you get when you purchase Scalar 2. So you have the virtual instrument, which I have up here. Uh, you have uh, Scalar 2 Audio, which is here. And uh, that's for use with... Uh, audio tracks because Scalar 2 does uh, can detect and uh, take audio and analyze it and give you the chords and notes from that. And you also have Scalar 2 Control, uh, which is meant to be used with uh, audio unit uh, mini controlled effects, which Studio One does have in the uh, note effects, uh, but at this time that's proprietary to. Uh, PreSonus and Studio One. So the Scalar 2 control is really what you would use if you have uh, Logic. Uh, so uh, back to the Scalar 2 uh, virtual instrument. So you have a lot of different sounds that you can select from here. And we'll just set it to uh, piano. We'll hit some keys here. And we'll just go to songs and grab something. Uh, let's do hip hop four. So now we've got a uh, chord progression here. So say I want to use that chord progression with another instrument. I didn't want to use the sounds from uh, Scalar 2. So to do that, now let's take a, uh, let's take a Mai Tai and let's pick a patch here. Okay, so say I want that string sound to play that chord progression from Scalar 2. So what you would need to do is route Scalar 2 into Mai Tai. So just open this up here. Just select this input. We'll change that to Scalar 2. And now we play Scalar. Let's actually pin these so they'll both stay up here. Now we play Scalar 2. Actually, just click this A so I can link this chord progression to the keyboard. And we're still hearing the Scalar 2 uh, piano in there. So if you didn't want to hear that, all you have to do is just select off. And now we're hearing just the strings with the chord progression from Scalar 2. So there's a quick look at how to set up uh, Scalar 2 to be used with external instruments in Studio One. Uh, any questions, comments, let me know, and I'll catch y'all next time. I want to invite everyone to check out my new podcast, The Faders Up Podcast. It's a podcast about pro audio. I've got me and three other Nashville professionals. We're discussing pro audio, pro audio topics, the pro audio lifestyle. And it's available on Apple Podcasts and it's available on Spotify. So check it out, rate it, let me know what you think.